Sandstorm Recorder. In the earlier sessions, we have already seen how to record a test case. In this session, we'll see how to customize a test case and make it ready for execution. So first, let's start with uh, modifying the host and port of our recorded uh, test case. For that, go to test case, configure. And in the test case configuration window, you can specify the old host and new host along with the old port and new port. This is required if uh, after recording the application deployment changes and uh, the server IPs are changed. So in this way, we can avoid the overhead of uh, re-recording the test case. Similarly, in the test case, you can insert your own requests. For that, you go to insert request. In this window, you can specify the name or IP address, the method, which could be a get or a post method. Here you specify the path of uh, the resource along with the protocol parameter separator. And in the request parameters, you can uh, give the name of different parameters which you would like to pass on with your request along with their values. In the same way to delete a test case, in the same way to delete a request, you simply have to select the request, click on remove request and you can remove a particular request. Now let's see how we can mark the transaction in the already recorded test case. For that you select the requests which you want to encapsulate in a transaction and go to mark transaction, specify the transaction name. Here you can choose to apply think time or you may ignore it and then you can select a condition on the transaction. The condition could be using the response time or the virtual user or the iteration count or the transaction response as well. So here you can select if uh, some particular transaction gets passed then you can apply a tra transaction condition over here and at runtime this condition would be validated and the test case would be executed further. Similarly to unmark a transaction just go to the beginning of the transaction and you can select to unmark the transaction. In case your test case is very small comprising of very few requests and you want to see the response time of individual request, you may like to mark each and every request as a transaction. For that you simply have to click this button and it will say that uh, all the existing transactions will be unmarked and each request would be marked as an individual transaction. To revert back the operation you can unmark all the transactions. For repeated execution of certain requests, you can mark a loop in the test case. For that select the requests, go to insert loop, specify the loop name and the loop count. And here you can see the requests get encapsulated in the loop. Now these requests would be executed the number of times you have specified the loop count. To unmark the loop, go to beginning of the loop, simply say unmark and you are done. To manually insert think times in the test case to give it a more realistic feel, go to the request before which you want to insert the think time, click on insert think time, give the think time some name. And then you can select a random value or give a constant value in these boxes. Along this you can also give the variation based on the mean or the standard deviation and the think time will get inserted in the test case. To mark a rendezvous point in your test case click on insert rendezvous 
specify the rendezvous name and the condition and simply click OK and the rendezvous point will get inserted before that request. To make the test case more readable, you may want to insert certain comments in the test case. To do so, just go to add comments and you can write your own comment over here. And the comment appears over here by double clicking the comment you can see what the comment contents are. Similarly you can select the comment and remove this. For debugging purpose you may want to insert certain breakpoints in your test case. So to insert a breakpoint select the request before which you want to insert the breakpoint and click on toggle breakpoint. A breakpoint gets inserted over here and during execution at this point of time the recorder will wait for the user response and once you proceed then only it will surpass the breakpoint and uh, proceed with the test case. To remove the breakpoint select the breakpoint and again click on toggle breakpoint. You may want to find and replace certain requests in your test case. To do so, click the find replace utility button. Here enter the request name and you may want to replace it with some other constant. The search and uh, replace operation can be case sensitive, can be for whole world and you can wrap the search at the end of the test case. you may at some point of time want to import certain transaction or request from some another test case for that you go to test case click on import request and either you can do it from an agenda or you can do it from a test case let's see them one by one so to do it from an agenda select the option Here you have to specify the agenda name and then you have to select the transaction name based on the transactions present in that agenda and all the requests in this transaction would get imported in your test case. In the same manner to do it from a test case again go to test case import request import request from test case select the test case name select the group the agenda and the transaction and you can import the request from the test case once you are done with all the changes you are ready to execute your test case or perform a debug run to do so click on run button click ok So in the lower pane you can see the requests and the response and a debug execution report saying that all the transactions have passed successfully. So using these features you can customize your test case and make it more realistic while execution. Should you have any queries regarding test case modification you can always write back to us. Thank you very much.